what, what has it been like since you were drafted? Uh, it's still sort of sinking in. Um, it was amazing. Um, obviously, lots of calls from back home, the folks, uh, friends, family. Um, but no, it's been unbelievable. Um, but I'm excited to be here. Were you in Salt Lake City? No, I was in Santa Barbara. Um, the missus lives in Santa Barbara, so I was with her. Okay. How much contact did you have with the 49ers before the draft process? Uh, quite a bit. Um, I you know, went to the Senior Bowl, uh, spoke to Coach Hightower there, um, Combine, spoke spoke to Coach, and then... Uh, Coach, Hight uh, Coach Hightower and Coach Kwan came and worked me out in Utah and went out for dinner and stuff like that. So, Did you meet Reggie Cobb? Uh, no. John Lynch said that that workout was Hightower came back saying that was one of the best he's ever seen. I mean, was was there anything that really clicked for you then that, that you remember about that workout specifically? Uh, I don't think anything specifically. Um, I, was hitting the, I was hitting the ball well and I f uh, felt good and but there's nothing that really stands out to for me that why it was a great workout. Well, what are your strengths as, as a putter? I mean, that, people will say, you know, he's a big leg, he's accurate, things like that, but what do you, what do you pride yourself on? Yeah, I feel like I'm, uh, I've got good leg strength. Um, and then accuracy. I feel like I'm consistent at, like, putting it outside the numbers if need be or sky punts, like uh, short yardage punts. I'm confident, you know, pinning opponents, stuff like that. How long ago did it, you make it your goal to become an NFL player? Uh, it was always sort of a uh, a dream and a and a goal, but at first it was like get out of Australia, get to junior college, and do different like get my GED, go to junior college, and so it was it was always a goal, um, but it wasn't until maybe like junior college or the start of my career at Utah where I would, you know, see other punters punt and I'd be like, actually, like, I think I might have a, have a crack at this. Like, I think I'm in, you know, good stead for uh, NFL career. Cushing and John Lynch both said they, they studied quite a bit of punter tape, which is maybe a bit unusual for the coach and the general manager. Did you did you pick up on, on that at all from them compared to maybe other teams where the head coach was, was really involved in scouting you? Uh, I mean, not too much. I feel like... Um, there's a side of like the draft process of sort of trying to stay away a little bit as well and not uh, you know not give too much interest but um, it was more Coach Hightower and Coach Kwan coming out and um, having dinner and them sort of saying uh, you know how highly they thought of me and stuff like that. So you had a couple of fakes or quite a few fakes when you were at Utah does your experience as a fullback back in Australia kind of give you a little extra experience for that? Uh, I think really just any position back home it's 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 a free-flowing game so there's no stoppages sometimes you get the ball and you have to get out of like a sticky situation and stuff so I think just uh, you know the experience of playing that um, sort of might give me an upper hand to you know if the fake is called be able to uh, able to run at least. How'd you, how'd you land in Santa Barbara? Uh, so one of, pro, another Pro Kick Australian was previously there, loved it, loved the coaches and spoke highly of it. So I thought, why not? Who, who was that? A guy called Tim Gleason. He okay. punted at Rutgers after uh, Santa Barbara. Okay. So I got to ask, how much did you follow Jared Haynes time here? And the had in Australia? <clears throat> I mean, well, I was, I'm pretty sure I was over here. Yeah, I was over here. So I didn't see quite the but like quite the buzz that because I wasn't back home. But I mean, I thought it was awesome to see an Aussie come in and make a team. Um, even him just making the team um, was an outstanding achievement. But um, I watched I watched some of the games. You know, looked at his stats to see how his punt returns were. But <clears throat> other than that, I you know I didn't really know him or anything. You mentioned like conference call that someone from Pro Kick saw you at a park screwing around kicking out. was that a regular thing for you going to the park and kicking around with with guys or or was that just one day uh well i joined a uh some of my mates they're uh 
flag, like American flag football team. Mm. And that was just like a mess around recreation thing. And first time I'd really seen an NFL ball or I, I think it was like a fake NFL, like a fake football. And uh, I was just messing around punting it. And I've always had a big leg and someone there who was obviously into like American football in Australia knew Nathan and John. And uh, yeah, put my, gave my number to John. John called me one night. Do you remember the name of the guy's name? Uh, Craig Wilson. And did he just come to you and say, hey, you could, you could kick? Well, there was me and a load of mates and we would always, you know, he was, he was like a very vocal, like he was a coach and he was very vocal. So we would give it back to him being the other team and that he came up and spoke to us and sat down and was just like, hey, if you guys ever wanted to, I could pass your number on, like you've all got a good kick and all that. And I was like, for sure, like I'll take that, yeah. How big is the NFL in Australia? Uh, it's definitely growing every year. Um, I'll go back and it's now getting on TV, whereas before, like, you turn on Foxtel, which is like cable, you wouldn't see much. But you go back, college football and NFL, it's starting to really pick up. Are you familiar, obviously, with Michael Dixon? Um, but did you guys both go through pro kick at a different time? Yeah, he actually went after me. So obviously I had a longer path, like junior college and stuff like that. But I left and he came. But um, we, I've seen him obviously at like Ray Guy Awards. And then one day we, we didn't even plan it. We were just in Hawaii at the same time on like a holiday. I think it was spring break. I was there with my folks and he was there with his cousin. So we had a punt then. But other than that, I hadn't really uh, been around Dixon throughout the like pro kick process. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you make any contact after, Couple more guys. after you were drafted? Like with call you or, or text yes, you or anything? well even beforehand, um, lots of teams are like, "How's the visa process work?" And I don't, I don't have answers. But mm -hmm. like, luckily Cameron Johnson and Michael Dixon, I'm close with them both, so called them and you know he he told me what his coach thought of me and like where he had me ranked and. Um, I spoke to them about like the combine and lots of stuff, so I'm good mates with both of them. Do you, you're one of the highly drafted punters in recent NFL history. Do you, maybe not now, but do you expect pressure that, that will come with that? And if so, how, how, how do you deal with that? I mean, absol absolutely, but not, not just because I was a higher draft pick. I think regardless, the NFL's full of pressure. Um, but I mean, I get nervous and I get anxious and everything before punts and I've, it's always happened my whole career. So I don't fight it. I just take it in and I feel like pressure and that sort of high stress improves performance. So I welcome it.